Hello everybody, this is Coffee with Brick today. We are somewhere in Lower Bavaria. And the subject today for our Coffee with Brick today is how do we say goodbye. So, I am going to be um, picking up these hay bales while we chat. Ooh, we can see all the fall colors. So... So, okay, I gotta get over to the other side here. And there's our baler. Oh, did I forget the other baler? Hmm, I think maybe I did. Uh, Brooke. Y'all, I think I got a tab over. Alright. There. There you are. I should have brought it with me, you know. Always forgetting equipment. So for today, like I said, today is going to be a day basically saying goodbye to Farm Sim 2022. At this time, I am pretty sure that they will be making a Farm Sim 2025. I... I hope that's the name. I'm not all sure that it will be in the name, but I hope it's the name. And I'm going to be talking about um, what I loved about Farm Sim and other things that made me truly grateful for, for Farm Sim. So, so Farm Sim um, has always been a game that I can always relate to because, did that go up? I felt like it didn't. Because I always wanted to be a farmer. I always wanted to um, have a dairy farm. That that was my dream for like ever when I was a kid. I uh, like 18 or 19, well not a kid, I guess, like a teen. But I really, really wanted to pursue my dream around 18 or 19, but at that time I, really didn't have the funds to actually buy property or a farm <laughs> so i started working and working and never did get a dairy farm so farm sim was the outlet for that farm dream i had and um and I never looked back, so, uh, look at this, y'all, yeah, I'm, like, twisting the, 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 um, the trailer around like that, trying to get all these bales, but, it is really, honestly, my love for farm sim that has kept me staying with farm sim not that i haven't had burnouts because i've had burnouts i've had times where i just actually wanted to just quit farm sim and go on to another game and start a new journey but i never did that i always came back to farm sim <laughs> i always came back to a time when life was just really simple back in the day and if you're new to my channel i've actually been with farm since farm sim since 2013 and i've played the game ever since and okay i think this is all oh yeah that's all we can put in there so it's kind of just like no 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 stay here stay here stay here no 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 i need to back up get away from this bale no no <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh but i've played since then oh yeah sorry for the shenanigans over there that wasn't called for but um so now we're gonna talk about what i loved about farm sim 2022 and I'm gonna make me cry y'all so the first thing I liked about Farm Sim 2022 was 
better graphics. I feel like it had better graphics than... Okay, is <laughs> Than 19. And it feels more alive with... Um, I feel like the trees, if you look at the tree, I feel like it looks like a real tree. I like to see them move a little bit more, I guess. Like, more, like, movement and that kind of thing, realism to that. But I think that it, they, the trees actually give a... Uh, I, what was I going to do? I don't know. I think I gotta, I really probably have to go around here. Gives um, the feel of it being real. So I love that part. And Farm Sim 2022 was the first time I ever played Seasons in Farm Sim. Can you believe that? That is another aspect of Farm Sim 22 that I like. I know Seasons was kind of in a couple of the games. I think Farm Sim 2017 had it, but you actually had it to add it with a mod. A mod. And they actually... Um, put it in the game, and I think 2022, I don't think 19, I think you still had to add a mod to it, but it just gives the realism about the seasons, um, that I love, and another aspect I love for Farm Sim 2022 was, um, the, um, animal grazing mod. I love the fact that the, the modder who made it had, had put such thought into it, and the animals could actually graze the grass down like real cows. That was amazing. And that was just one thing that just made me want to come and play it. <laughs> and, um, and I started playing, um, the other day. It was just the other day I started playing with Corn Maze Plus on my, um, private map that I've been playing on, but it, it's not the easiest to, because there's so much, oh, there we are. There's my bar bail, and, oh, oh. ha ha, car, you can sit there. <laughs> For all the times the car has made me stand there, waiting for them, I'm going to do the same. <laughs> but it's just, like, all the fees and everything is very complex, and I was just, that is just amaz amazing to me. I'm just going to put it here, y'all. Yeah, I know. I'm the ultimate lazy farmer. But Farmer Bernie is more lazy than me. <laughs> yeah, let me see. I think we have to unload. Ugh. Whoops. Get this up here and then we'll talk more. There you go. Okay. Then another aspect I really loved when um, a modder had actually uh, took out a bird feeder, had actually created a mod. That was a bird feeder. That was amazing. And I and I loved actually showing you all, like, the bird feeder. I was, like, thinking it wasn't going to work, but it really did. And it was so amazing. On one of my personal farms recently, I had actually um, decided I was going to put that mod in there. It was absolutely awesome. Oops, no, I want to turn it on. Nope. Because... Um, I had it, I had it back in the back of my, um, homestead. I call it my homestead because I actually call it my homestead. Um, I had put it back there and it took a really, really long time for the birds to come. But I just, I felt it gave realism to the game. It gave a sense of immersion, of nature. And that, I guess, is one part that I love farms about 2022. Some of the maps just feel like you're really out and relaxing and these very talented modders actually have made the game what it is and I'm truly honestly grateful for for um 
for all of them who has spent so much time. Y'all, we don't know how much time it takes to make mods. It's insane. These people spend so much time doing it that I feel like they deserve to get credit for what they do. And another part of a farm sim the company I don't like is is some of the people who actually created the mods have heavily thought of a lot of good ideas to put in the game. And then here comes Giants take you know, I feel like they take the idea and put it in the next game instead of taking the time to put the put different ideas into the game to make it better without without taking players, you know, taking the modders' ideas. I didn't know how much... I thought there was not much <laughs> hay on here. I mean, yeah, hay on here, but, you know... Let's see. Looks like I still have more to pick up, but I don't think I'm going to pick up. We still have to go back. Um, I'm probably going to one more day in... Um, October, and then we're going to up. Oh, there's some bales there. Oh my gosh, y'all! We're going to be doing a um, manure spreading. <laughs> and you know, I've never done that. I've never really used um fertilizer. I don't even know what did I do. Oh, I sold it to the um. I think I sold it to the BGA most of the time on my but. But I just been enjoying Farmson again. I was really truly burned out. I was. And nobody knows how much pressure it is to have a YouTube channel and okay, another one, y'all. <laughs> and how much work really goes into uh, um editing <laughs> videos. <laughs> it's a lot, editing and making videos. Sometimes I just got on to make to make a, a video and then got right off because I didn't have time to play my personal farm that day because my YouTube channel came before my personal farm. All right. Yeah, we got a lot more hay than I thought. I thought that we were only going to get, you know, so um, it looks like we may be able to feed the cows over winter. this here. Unload this. Unload this. Yes. I don't know why it does that. Alright. And it's gonna be really, really sad when I when I say goodbye to this farm. This is actually the first map this is actually the first series that I've really stayed on on my channel for more than three three or four episodes because I wanted to try something different. I wanted to try to do like a play through and I've really really absolutely enjoyed it and my next um my next map I'm not sure what I'm thinking I'll do like like a survival start from nothing map like we have really nothing and we got like cut down trees yeah no i know it i'm not good with not really good with i think we have some bales on here didn't we i'm not truly good with cutting trees down but if if we can start from scratch and make the farm what it is like a build that would be really enjoyable over the summer i want actually okay so do i need to turn this on what the heck why aren't you working? Okay. Do we need to fold that up? Let me see. There we go. That was crazy. I thought that... I gotta go back over there and... I, mean, I think it was open in the back. <laughs> so I think that will be a wonderful, wonderful um, series to have going over summer. Like a survival series. That's it. Okay. 
but I've just been, and also I want to say I'm truly, truly, truly grateful for you all. 22 has been a wonderful journey, and it really is going to be hard saying goodbye because, you know, we had wonderful memories, and the one memory I cannot forget would be those monster trucks and playing with them. I have to say, I really, really, oh my gosh, y'all, this is harder. <laughs> I can't these bad. I really enjoy those jumping off the interstate with those on um, Elm Creek. Oh my gosh, that was the funnest thing ever. And the person who made the ball mod. You know, I'm just driving over all the hay. Can you freaking believe that? Look at this. <laughs> I love this. I love this. I want to. I gotta figure out. I think I'm gonna have have this vehicle every playthrough if we're gonna play with small bales. Maybe I don't want to play with small bales. They're kind of a pain in the biatch. I have to tell you. I have to tell you that. Look at all this. I thought I got them all. Nope. Got this one too to do, and it probably won't go in. Okay, so there we go. But it's just, it's just wonderful that I got to experience a bunch of wonderful maps and just a beautiful, beautiful, a beautiful journey, I have to say, y'all. And it just, it feels, I feel entirely grateful to, uh, what, why didn't, I don't know why I that happened, but maybe if I like put it in front of it like that, what? Why it wouldn't let me drop it? But there's there's always, you know, we're always every farm sim game we're gonna have to say goodbye. You know, when I first played farm sim. 2013 I was really really upset for the fact the reason I was so upset but that's over here because I love that game that was a time in a place you know I feel like we were our economy was better there was less pressure there was less you know my kids were a little I didn't have to worry about them going to school and all the things that school and that all brings. I I truly, truly, truly believe that, that was acquired a time. <laughs> and there's so many riots going around everywhere. You know, it, it's hard for me to understand why people get so upset over little things when there's a bunch of things that... We could get more upset about that. We're just letting go. Like, people are understanding that the inflation is crazy right now. It's insane. Okay. All right. All right. There we go. I think I gotta turn this on. Um, no, that's not what I wanted. Alright, I think I'm good. It works now. Yep. Yep. Oh, come on. Get in there. Can only do one more, y'all. One of the things I'd like to experience this summer before we actually really say goodbye and play the new game is I want to actually do a, like a playthrough on a map and do, like I said, I started playing. But I don't have crap destruction on. Hmm. That um, I would like to do corn. Um, Corn Maze Plus, and um, I would like to play on American Map on a farm like I had growing up as a kid. 
I didn't really, I didn't grow on a farm, grow up on a farm, but I grew up by a farm, or like across the street from a farm. If you know what I mean. Okay, so why the heck? Are you not moving? <laughs> that, that just. Look at this mess, y'all. <laughs> ah. uh. But that's what I like to do over summer is find a map where I can. I don't know if I'm going to play all summer on it, but I would like to do different things, you know, maybe. I don't know how that one happened, but I probably need to. What? There we go. Just experience, have cows and experience what, um, you know, what I miss growing up on the farm. I mean, I don't think it will be totally like the same farm, but I think I would love to experience close to that, if you know what I mean. So, that's one of my goals for summer, and I'm probably going to play, uh, like, I'm going to play that as a series, and then I'm going to have a, maybe a survival series. I don't know if that will be the survival series, because, oh my gosh, why did I do this? But I think it would be kind of cool to be able to, you know, pretend that I was on a farm. I don't know, like, a like a roleplay thing. I don't know if that would work. I'm hard, It's hard for me to play roleplay, you know? I think that's it. Let's. Oh, there is one more we have to get. The poor. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get this one here. There is another one though, but it's on the road. And remember, what? <laughs> Y'all, I don't think this is such a good. Idea. Now let's forget that one. Let's forget that one. Let's just forget that one. <laughs> let's forget you see me do that. Okay, that poor car sitting in the middle. Oh, nope. They got through it. <laughs> nasty. I was nasty making a wave there. All right. All right. But I'm just going to make a swing around here and around. But um, I just I want to experience that. I truly. Oh, there's one there too. Jeez, I missed them all. All right. Let's go, y'all. But. This is something I really want to experience and maybe like start with another thought is just starting with a basic map with nothing on it. I don't know if there's a map out there like that. It has nothing. And then I go and like buy, start buying equipment and all that for the farm. That would be cool to do that. But I also plan on playing a couple new games on my channel to kind of break up the farm sim. You know, because I'll, I'll be probably having quite a few videos out a week. I'm trying to do a video every day or two videos. And that's... It's really hard to do. To try to get them edited, you know? So, wait a minute. We didn't have a whole bail. How did that happen? That is so weird. Okay. So, what do we have to do? No, I don't want AI... How am I supposed to... No, no. Okay, so why... Why is it... Oh, I have four bales. Yeah, this is probably going to do for winter. I think. Being that we only got 40 cows. Okay. Okay, and then... There we go. So, as I was saying, to have a few, a couple, you know, some series that, you know, this isn't, this, um, this series only is going to go to, to, um, like 20, maybe 25. I don't want to stay longer than that for a series because I think that's a lot because you all like me playing on different things and seeing different things and everything. So, 
let's just end this video in the cow barn. I'm going. Uh, see, I don't. Okay, I need to get super strength of that clothes. And this is another mod that I definitely hope it comes back. It is amazing because you can pick up anything with this. I'm gonna see if I can. Maybe more. Uh, no, but their health is pretty good. I got 80, 84 percent. Ooh, we got a lot of milk. We need to have picked up. I thought there was a quality of life mod you could put on here to uh, pick up the milk. And I might use that because that's going to take a lot of work, y'all. Because we still ugh, we still have a bunch of stuff to do. I don't know if I can be able to, like, oh my gosh, we're going in the middle of the wall. Kind of back this up like that. To get them out of the weather. Like, the other bales are fine. But I just, I just want to create, like I said, just do, you know, something different for summer and go on a different map. Um, I think I want to do American map since we did, uh, um, one in a different country. Okay. Um, ooh, that's not good. Rook. Okay. <laughs> we have two of these left. So... I hope you really enjoyed this um, Coffee with Brick today. It was just a little bit, um, a little bit of my, um, you know, Coffee with Brick and a little bit of a chat about things I really enjoyed about Farm Sim. And it's just really about the memories. It's really, it's really about what it is, you know. It's about how we how we enjoy it and how we all see things different and we all like things different and that's the reason why I like it and on the next video I want to do my top five favorite maps and that will be probably I hopefully that won't be like a whole hour <laughs> our um and then probably maybe a quality of life mods or something like that yeah look at this Farmer Bernie, you're going to have to clean my farm next time you come on here. And yeah, we have to do this too next. You know, it's all mess. I wonder before we leave. Okay, so I'm going to do something here. Get in. Unhook. Here, unhook that since we don't use it. I think I rented it, so maybe we need to um set, do the lease a back. And what was I doing? Oh, yeah, I was going to go pick up that. That trailer there and try to pick up some of this. And go sell it at the BGA. Oh, fast. This is, I just want to see if it works. I'm trying something, y'all. Before we go, <laughs> gotta try to experiment here. Okay, let's see here. I mean, if we can just pick up the grass on the outside of this, so it doesn't mix up with our, with our, um, gotta turn this on. So if we can just pick up this right here. Did it get picked up or did it? Did it actually pick it up? What? I don't know. I don't think it did. What the hell? All right. Let's see if we can. Ooh. All right. Well, it did some. Wait a minute. Did it just come out? What the heck? What happened? Here, let's see. I don't want to pick up all that. I just want to pick up, like, the stuff on the... All right. Oh, it's, no, it's picking my silage up. No, no, no. All right. We're going to sell the silage anyways, you all. all right. You know what? I, 
Uh, all right. Um, we can't really do anything with the silage, can we? Never thought about. We we're just gonna sell it at the BGA. Right, so, cause we can't feed it to the cows, cause it won't let us drop it in there. So. That is so funny. Look at that. Look at how it's like that. That's so funny. <laughs> All right. Um. I think we can just do this. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see. Right. We are definitely making a mess, aren't we? All right, there we go. All right. <laughs> and on the next episode... We will be going and trying to sell this at the BGA, and we will be fertilizing the fields. Thank you for um, joining me today on Coffee with Brick today about how can we say goodbye. And the conclusion to that is we have to say goodbye. There is definitely a moment where you have to say it's time to move on to the next the next game and you got to remember all the good times and you have all my videos that you can play through and watch them again so we have all those memories i forget about that so you all please like and subscribe for the next video on farm content um somewhere in lower bavaria uh, I love this. <laughs> Hope you have a good day. Peace out. <laughs>